trying to save people. You're living in a day now. You better pay attention to the simplicity of Christ. Worry people. You better pay attention to that sincere milk of the word. Because like they said, from way back into the past, a lot of people think they had all the love of God they had. That's what causes it. I'm going to do what God said. See, let me share something with you. This is a sad moment you're living in. Listen to what Psalms 9 tell us, people. Psalms 9. And the 17 verse. Well, i got to go at the 16 and read the 17 also. 16. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executes. The wicked is a snare in the work of his own hands. Hegoshon. Selah. The wicked should be turned into hell in all nations. That's a kid. Like this, America can cause hell to enlarge itself in your churches. You don't cause it to enlarge itself. Why? See, the devil say, the Lord say, that guess what? The Lord trying to move his own. The devil said, I'm going to get women with my army. That's going to be the thing. What was the army against Elijah? Jezebel. Jezebel. What was that that led to get John the Baptist? A woman. Where was she was? She had a high position. But her husband, she controlled her husband. That man Jesus. Two men. Mother was going to dethrone Jesus. But everything of his righteousness coming is a woman going to try to tear it down. If she can't tear it down, going to seek to kill it. That's what Jezebel saw. The count. She see that all her stuff couldn't work. Kill it. Like this. Why the Lord say the kings of the earth, the false prophets, in the beast. They gather together to go against thine army. And like the Lord had me to share with y'all, the devil got to get women with his army. He started from the beginning in the garden of Eden. There's no mistake when the Lord told you all that. Certain women are being raised up. The devil got his army. They got a lady right now and said, look, we got our army. <laughs> See, this will go against God's people. That's why the devil raising up women that want to preach and teach. That's why he raising them up in things of being successful. So they can say, I eat my own bread. I don't need a man. That's why it can be said seven women gonna take hold of one man. You're gonna hear the new thing on the earth. What is it being said? Hmm? A woman can pass a man. It's here, people. 
It's no mistaken. It's no mistaken. Are you all listening? Are you all listening? That's what's happening, people. That's what's happening. Learn this. For very quick to be. Family to be. Seas and a wave run. It takes a man of God to pronounce that. So I'm going to give you all some signs. The Lord got four souls. He got four souls, judgment souls. It's in the old part of the scripture. And he said, if I send this, I'm not going to talk on it. So, any woman come up with uh, these things, it's not fair. Ask proof it. A prophet, Agabus. You see, he came forth. He said there was going to be a great dirt throughout the whole land, the look of the whole world. And the king of Acts. When did king do that? Because guess what? It take a prophet to do what a prophet say. No one if you if you try to take it, you're a thief and a robber. <laughs> if you're trying to steal what the Lord had for apostle prophet, he's a thief or a robber. Especially women. That's what you are. See, people don't understand what the Lord say about prophesying. See. The last day's movement of testimony of Jesus Christ's spirit of prophecy that's tied with the Ten Commandments of what the Lord said in the last days. This is And that's all I'm going to leave y'all with. The scripture say, Great is he that prophesied and he that speak in tongues. Why that is say? Because guess what? You know, let me see. Share this with you. I, I'm not going to talk too much on it, but listen to me, Platinum. Uh, first, Corinthians in chapter 14 and the third verse. They say, But he that prophesies speak unto look, men to edification and exhortation and comfort. That's all that is. Now, don't you know in his last days, you should all say he stole the darkness? Oh, people need that. People need prophesying. Because guess what it is? Edify, exhortation, and comfort. See, let me share this with you. There's women out there trying to pass for use prophecy on me. But you wasn't of God. You was of a, a devil. You was of a divine divination. Because guess what? Holy Ghost don't justify the strength in the hands of the wicked. If that's a woman preaching you, prophesying and calling them daughter, a man you call son, and they are daughter of them. When you preach, you're operating in divine divination. Because what are you doing? You're strengthening the wicked. And guess what? God can't tolerate that. You're making the righteous sad. Just put it in a brief say. So all these women that go around doing that look, see, the Lord won't purge you. You won't prophesy, get it right. You gotta denounce and deny and get rid of all them lies you done told to women preachers in and breaking the commandments with marriage. It's time for you to repent and do your first work over. So guess what? 
You don't have no see God can use you now. That's why he's putting people through that. That's why he's putting women through that. See? Yeah. That's why he's putting women through that. See? And guess what? All men that's involved with it, God said, I'm going to put you through great tribulation. Fiction. <laughs> That's what the Lord doing you. All you men, let these women, I believe you evangelists, I thank you the Lord call you for this. I'm at you. God say I'm at you. I'm going to put you through something. I'm going to get you. Because guess what? You can't be with the commandments that you got. Let me read to you. Let me read to you. Ezekiel chapter 13. Let me read to you. Ezekiel chapter 13 in the 22 verse. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. It's the 22 verse of Ezekiel chapter 13. Repeat myself. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Whom I have not made sad. And straighten the hand of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Look what the Lord called you. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity. That's what you're doing. No divine divination. That's what you was operating in. For I will deliver my people out of your hand. And ye should know that I am the Lord. Learn this. Quick work. Cut it short in righteousness. That's what I'm here for. To take them out of y'all hands. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Get you. Don't care who you are. Are you listening? My sons and look, 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 look. You see. See that Joel. See, that's a blessing, Joel. Going to Acts chapter 2, and look what he said. Look who are his sons and daughters that prophesied. See, look how that word being said. Acts chapter 2, 17 and 18 verse. 17, and it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men should see vision, and your old men should dream dreams. And on my servant and on my handmaiden, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. That's why you heard the apostle Paul was telling them in Corinthians how to operate in it. But guess what? It would be singing in the church and not singing by the Spirit. He called himself praying. He didn't understand what they were praying. That's why he said, if I sing in the Spirit, I sing with the understanding also. If I pray in the Spirit, I pray with the understanding also. You just blurt out, speaking in tongues, no one to interpret. Won't go lay hand on somebody to pray for them and do the church over with. You gonna catch him after service. Many women done that. See? Won't get on the phone and talk. See? Won't finish what the preacher has stopped. Phone church. your own prayer line. Come on now. Well, the Lord trying to get you all out of that. If you really want to do it, repent. Because guess what? If you think you're right, operating in divine divination, lying, saying my brother, my sister, the Lord see what you're going through. Doing like a psychic. Psychic. 
I see what you like. No, you know the other day you you did 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 you you, you experienced something the other day? You experienced something the other day? Oh yeah. Now you gonna tell them the day and time and what it was. See, they can't tell you themselves. Psychic. <laughs> like Look at that. You are not helping the wicked to turn, to return. See, look what it says. Because which ye have made your heart, look, because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he shall not return from his wicked ways by promising him a I'm talking to all you ministers that let women preach and teach. Talking to all you all, as the Lord say, believe in idolaters and idolatresses. Talking to all you that the Lord say a wicked and idolatrous generation. Call yourself putting your hand on people prophesizing too. How could the Holy Ghost use you? And you not a sons or daughter. You say my sons and daughters. And you calling someone sons and daughters and they breaking the commandment and letting women teaching you circuit authority over. Now y'all want to know why you didn't get to see because of the all women and breaking it up to the commandments. <laughs> he couldn't answer that. He said, I'm going to let Satan get it. Oh! Turning them over to Satan, teach him not to bless him. I tell you, pay attention. Turning them all over to Satan, to teach him not to bless him. Blaspheme. Better pay attention, people. Now, who am I? What am I here for? Who be holding the order? Everything the Lord has me to say, it come to pass. So many that men turn over. Listen. God love everybody. He placed it in me to love him. So, if I have to turn you over to Satan and stop you from blasting, I'm going to do it. That's right. Because guess what? You're doing or overdrawing the fate of son. That's what you're doing. Talking about speaking in tongues, and don't know how to interpret what it's about. My God said this. And who, what is Jesus? He's the author and finish of our faith. He's not the author of confusion. When Paul was talking about how the church should operate and things like that, guess what he had to put in there? After he complete with saying with the prophets. See? God is not the author of confusion in the face. And learn this. Guess what he start on after that? When he keeps silence in the church. He told about everything on how a man would do in the church, even if he's speaking tongues. See? He say if he's speaking tongues, read it. Let that be interpreted. If it's not, you go out. And if you speak in tongues, look, and you're coming in with revelation, where it come out to be, and look, and the way that it being put. See, I, I, it wasn't in me to talk on that, but pay attention. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And look how it's being put.
Look at it. Just, just listen to it plainly how it is being put. See? Just sit down. Say, I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy, for greater is he that prophesy than he that speak with tongues. Look, if you're going to speak with tongues, let it be interpreted. What in interpret, look, speak with tongues except he interpret that the church may receive at a time. My purpose is to get all that out of the church. You understand how it's being put? Look at the to how the Lord put it in the 27th verse. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by cause, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak to himself and to God. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sit in mind, let the first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be confident. And the spirit of the prophets, look, are subject to the prophets. For God is not the altar of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Now, I won't just read that to you all and get you to understand. Pay attention. Okay. What do you mean he's not the author of confusion but of peace? One thing, Paul lets you know he's an apostle. And look what he say to you. As him being an apostle, look what he said. The 37th verse of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, the 37th verse. He says, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, see? Covet to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently in, and in order. Now, look how he put it. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Now, Learn this, I don't want to be ignorant. So what he said, I asked the Lord, the love, by the Holy Spirit, help me to understand. Now, what he's saying, my spirit is bear witness to it. See? One of them to keep silence in the church. Speaking in tongues, nobody interpret. Now, I know that's an apostle, and I'm being a prophet. Everything he's saying, I'm bearing witness to it. That's the same thing what he had to do deal with during his time with the church. That's the way they were. Praying. And not having an understanding. And he had to explain it to him. Sing it and don't have an understanding. That's why he said, I will pray with the Spirit and pray with the understanding also. Sing with the Spirit, sing with the understanding also. Now, let me share this with you, the 33rd verse of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, the 33rd verse. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. What that word peace is? Now, apostle talking. The prophet. Look what he say to the prophet. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, see, spiritual minded, spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. 
Now, if you spiritual, your spirit should agree on that. He said, now look, if you're a prophet, it should be the same thing. Here we go. Let's see what peace is. Y'all want to know what peace is? Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, and I'm going to read the first verse. Go all the way to the fourth verse. First verse to the fourth verse. Ephesians chapter 4. It's starting at the first verse. Therefore, the prison of the Lord beseech you that ye walk word of the vacation wherewith ye are called, with all loneliness and meekness, with all with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Oh, oh you hear that? Endeavoring to keep the unity, the unity, the unity of the Spirit. What Spirit? The Holy Spirit in a bond of peace. Why? Look what he said. There, listen now, there is one body, okay, and one Spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. You cannot say you got the Holy Ghost and the other one say they got the Holy Ghost and don't mind the same thing on how the church is supposed to operate. You can't have no different belief. No Holy Ghost that. That's confusion. <laughs> Me? I'm not confused. <laughs> I'm pleading to the author and finish of my faith. Not the author of confusion. Because learn this. Learn this. <laughs> A person that have love, God put love in them to love people, to see that love. They don't get misled. That's for God so love. That's the purpose of him sending people. <laughs> see, see, that's why he see he he, he looked for someone that is not gonna be respect a person. See? If the Lord say he not respect a person. Guess what? He wants someone that that's not going to be like that. Because if you respect a person, partial in judgment, he can't use you. You see, that's why I say you cannot love mother, father, sister, brother, husband, wife, children more than me. If you do, you're not worthy of me. Look at that. Listen, through the course of the year, a lot of people say, they said, you know what? I got a special one. Some don't have children. Say, you know what? I got a special one. You hear that? You know it from the beginning. Come on now. Are you listening? See, some, I love that one more than the other. You hear all that. You know all that. So I see if you love them more than me, you're not worried of me. Look about one man. I got to go be with my father. Oh, Jesus had to embrace it. Say, Lord, I was born a father. You had to leave up. Jesus embraced it. Say first, look, first, he, first, let me go bury my father. See, he didn't put Jesus first. <laughs> See, first, look, everything in the word. You love mother, father, sister, brother, husband, wife, more than me, you're not worthy of me. Listen to me. See, you hear people tell you, they say in Ephesians chapter 4, and the fifth verse, look what they'll tell you. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God, Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. That's the fifth, the sixth verse. I'm going to read the fifth and sixth again. Pay close attention. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God, Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Ephesians chapter 4, fifth and sixth verse. Now, let's pay attention. Okay. Eighth verse, wherefore he said, when he is sent up on high, he laid captivity captives and gave gifts unto men. What gift he gave unto men? Eleventh verse, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Pay attention now. The twelfth verse tell you, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. 13, till we all come in the unity of the faith 
and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. 14 verse. That we henceforth be no more children to our and fro and care about with, with every wind of doctrine by the slate and of men and cunning craftiness where by they lie in wait to deceive. Now learn this sir. I'm giving you all this here like that by the grace of God and telling it to you like that. See, let me say, you got to come to realize during that time you didn't know how they talk and how the Lord used. They didn't tell you Isaiah 53 in the fifth verse. They say, Isaiah said. That's how you go by it. See, this, this uh, old modern day man come out with this. Um, see, that's elephant. See, and that's what? That's where the devil got advantage only. That's why he's using women. Because that woman said, John 3, 16, and could give it to you. That's how wise he is. A woman that say this Jeremiah, they say this. And look, give you word for word. See? But this is how Jesus himself said, Isaiah said. That's all I got to tell you. I don't have to tell you the chapter. I don't have to tell you the verse. See, I go by the word of God, people. See, no man taught me this. See, all that throw you off God. All I can tell you is the days of Noah. See, that's man stuff. That's theology stuff. Um, uh, let's, uh, let me read John chapter 3 and the 16 verse. I don't have to tell you the chapter. I just have to tell you what John says. What the book of John says. That's all I have to tell you. I don't have to tell you nothing else. You're supposed to have the Holy Ghost. You're supposed to have the Holy Ghost. Don't waste the Lord's time. I got to stay there and wait for you to find what you got to look for. He said, you come... Listen to me. He said, when you come in the house of God, you come to hear. Simple as that. Why, when he talked to the children, hear, oh, it's not the Lord our God, it's one Lord. So he put it. You come to hear. You didn't come here to, to write down what's being said and want to learn from Scripture and want to sit confessing. No, nah. Faith come by hearing. Now come by, look, just go home and read it and read it. Let it get in your spirit. And you can see that the devil right there just laughing at you. See, it's not going to keep your spirit because you're being disrespectful to God. Because he said, come to here. You're being disrespectful. The Lord said, the enemy come and steal it. He's stealing it from you all the while. Because you're sitting there. And guess what? I'm going to write it down. And he's stealing it. Look, 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 at, look at it is. The Lord called that you're sitting in the temple of God showing that you God. Who is you the one? Put down what's being said. You're supposed to come to here and reverence him and honor him as God. You just fulfill in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, sitting in the temple of God. Look. I wait till I get home for the lesson. And you know for yourself you're going to have some kind of problem on your mind because of what happened. You're going to say, you know what? I might not because the last time I was trying to do that, something pop up. See? Well, you, that's the purpose of you coming in here. So when you leave away from here, I wonder if that's going to happen again because look, I was just about to go there and something pop up. See? The devil know what he's doing. And they're going to say nothing but the devil. Yeah, yeah, it is. You! Better trying to learn and say, look, I was ignorant of his device. See, like I'm sharing with you all, what the, the, what I'm sharing with you, that's, that's the way it goes. All this here stuff, giving you the chapter and the verse and that, not the way they say it. Isaiah said, and he'll give the scripture. As in the day of Noah, what did they do? All that is a fake. They're trying to prove to you that you're not. That's what it is. 
Satyology belief. Satyology belief. Um, <laughs> the scripture says. That's all that's a theology thing. That's all it is. Because like this. The only time you should, should do that in that week. Hmm? You with men. And you lean with men and you got to look. Church of Berea. What happened with the Church of Berea? It says the scripture of what Paul didn't say to see if it was true. <laughs> see? Acts tell you how did Christian come into existence? Acts tell you. Acts tell you why they become to be Christian because of persecution. That's why Peter said if you suffer as a Christian. That's what brought in Christian. The word Christian. Are you all listening? Look. Acts chapter 11 and the 26th verse. The 25th, 26th verse. 25th. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek, look, Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christian first in Antioch. Here we go, 27, 28. Verse. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. And there stood up one of them named Agabus. And signified by the Spirit that there should be a great throat throughout all the world which came to pass in the days of glorious season. Here's the rest. Then the disciple, he remained according to the ability de determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwell in Judea. A woman can't sit up and do that. I like this. You're looking at me. The Lord purged me so I can purge others. <laughs> well, you may not like it, so I love it. Because guess what? I won't make it in. I don't. I don't know if some people want many want to make it in. I won't make it in. See, <laughs> see, I want my soul saved. You can. <laughs> People can talk to me much as they want. I will say, it. well, when you get the truth, you give it to you. That's your choice. Choose this day who you want to serve. Make up your mind. But let me share this with you. Women preachers, if women preachers, these uh, commandment breakers, y'all better learn this. Why they press didn't get answered? It's iniquity. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, that's iniquity. And look at all these poor people. Oh, no. Forgive me for my sins. Listen. If you confess your sin, if you say you have not sinned, yes, I'm not. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. God is good, people. Amen. He's not playing. He's serious. The Lord is serious. You see that, huh? 
See, First John chapter one, the eight verse and the ninth verse eight. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When I'm trying to get the word across to you to see how many going to bed tonight, God forgive me for my sins. If the Lord didn't answer them women preacher prayers with the man that believed in his women preacher in the Ten Commandment breakers, there's gotta be iniquity. And guess what? If it's iniquity, that's a work. And what kind of work? Of iniquity. How many people going to go to be lost? Because look what the Lord said. You think you're going to go to bed ask God for forgiveness and you know in your heart it's wrong? But look what the Lord said. He that know it to do good and do it not. Let me this sin. Hebrews. This is a, this is something here what I'm about to read. Hebrews chapter 10. And I'm going to read. The 23rd verse. Go all the way to the 28th and listen to my plan. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our heart sprinkled from an evil conscience and our body washed with pure water. Pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise. And, he, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the man of son is. But exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. But of certain fearful looking for a judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Hmm. What them two prophets come to? Oh, you can't stop. That's who's going to get it. The church keeping purge. So when they get to do what they got to do, he's an enemy. That's why he could sin. Now, what did it say? He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Two witnesses, two prophets. If any man trying to hurt them in this manner, and the Lord see they should get killed. What are they going to do? Prophesy. So. Like this. Turning every way. Defending the tree of life. The commandments of God. The flaming soul. I can tell you more on that, but I'm not getting in forward. Why he tell you in the seven churches, some of them, he said, I'm going to take my candle out. And there are some was of poverty. He said, you rich. But you hear what he said, what's going to happen, don't you? Some going to cash and put you in jail for 10 days. Be faithful even unto death. And you got to lay out in the city like me. You got some, the Lord approved of them. They were the poverty ones. So, and the word was out, yeah, poverty, poverty. And he said, you are rich. Well, 
Listen, I'm not going in on that, but like I shared with you, it's all leading to y'all collapse. See, right now, when the Lord say they that be strong and do know they God, God, you don't know God, a, if you're not keeping this commandment. Now, could you be people that do know they God, going to be strong and do exploit? What is that exploit? Great is he that prophesies and he that speaks in tongues. The devil trick y'all. The devil wants y'all to get into tongue speaking. Want y'all to get into what? Be preachers. Women. He was slick. But the Lord had to expose him. He wants to see how much you say you love God. Then he's... See how far you was going to go. Now. Come to realize it. Look, everything the Lord do is for appointed time and season. See right now? The Lord knows who loving him now. He knows. He know who loving him now. See? Because some of the Lord repeat the same thing over and over and wait until they get them right. But the Lord called you. He can't keep on doing that. Because look how he's putting it. Many false prophets going to rise and deceive many. How are they going to be deceived? I just explained to you, if you think you have not sinned, if you think women preaching out of sin, if you think that you're breaking the Ten Commandments, and God say you're sinning, it's not sin. Go to bed and say, God forgive me every night. And you're going to practice the same thing. No problem indeed. That's sinning willfully. After you done come to the knowledge. See? And that's, see, that's why the Lord got me to talk the way I do. Because look how many people. I just don't want to think about it. Say many going to be deceived. Marrying, giving in that. That's the, that's the seeding thing that. And then the devil say, I'm going to re raise up women and men's psyching others. Ten commandment breakers, going for women preachers and stuff. My sister, my brother, I see what you're going through. You strengthen their wickedness. And the righteous getting grief. Over you strengthening. Calling them not to return. See? from their ways. Not to return from it. Not to return. Listen. If somebody or, or people would get the truth what I'm saying, you wouldn't have a friend. They won't be your friend for long. <laughs> well, they find it out this way. <laughs> they won't be your friend for long. They lied to them. And guess what? That's happening. I don't talk to people. I don't talk to them. Many times I had to do that with Jesus did with the woman at the well. See? Some be unmarried twice and one never married. And I have to solve. If you've never been married, you don't marry someone I've been married before. No. I'm getting a lot of them in them churches. I want to get it. See? Look, I done dealt with many. Call your husband. I have not. You can say that's true, but you don't have five, the one you had nine, it's not yours. Look, the Lord trying to pick up pick up a, a lot of them. Because guess what? They got a lot of them out there that never been married. Let me share this with you. I'm just gonna tell you like this. I have to have to get the truth from the Lord on things. Because guess what? Someone uh he's no longer with us. But I'm going to testify, he's no longer with us. I'm not going to mention his name. And look what he asked me. He said, so-and-so. I said, what? 
I'm saying, um, this this person want to marry, and you know I married a lady, but she hasn't been married before. And he he, he told me, they're no longer with us. He asked me, say, you know I married this lady. And uh, we divorced. And he asked me, say, now I don't do Rosa. She done been married before. And I never been married, but I married this woman that done been married before. I told him, and he said, someone else want to marry him. I said, well, this one here want to marry you if she ever been married before. He said, he said no. I said, you know, the bull that one? Now, let me share this with you. See, you married her. The first one, she done been married before. Don't you know you wasn't her husband? That first man was her husband. I said, is he living? Was he, is he living? He said, yeah. I said, listen to me. The Lord say what God, you know, that together, let no man put us under. I said, listen. She was a daughter. You was a fornicator. <laughs> she was a daughter. You was a fornicator. Because that wasn't your wife. Like this. No mistake in why that woman was caught in a lottery. If she was caught in a lottery, that said to me she was married. Now you get it. Think on it. Simple as that. The law say this. I'm glad I'm bringing this up. The law say this here. I'm glad I'm bringing this up. Because guess what? I done come across a lot of people and guess what? Many of them getting, uh, getting out of that. Many of them getting out of that. Are y'all listening? See, right me to if I don't want my soul lost, I don't want my relative lost, I don't want nobody lost. I gotta make sure I know what I'm saying. Are you listening? Listen to me. And look, I had that talk with a man years ago. He kept on disputing and going about it in uh, his own way. Romans chapter. Seven, starting at the first verse. First to the third verse. Listen, first verse. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. Know the law. How that the law had dominion over man as long as he liveth. For the woman which had an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband living and be married to another man, see, she should be called a daughter. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Now you get it? Long is he living. He's yours. In first time marriage. Y'all get it now? Yeah. Listen. The Lord don't change people. He do not change. I hope you all understand what the Lord is trying to say. Here's another scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Are y'all listening? Listen. Okay. 
Okay. Just pay attention. When I'm away, so I need to fight words. Okay. Say now concerning the things where where uh, he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. Now, this is the McPlatt. You got to come to understand. You just don't know you got many, see, many people today in these churches. The Lord will get you. And you know who he after? Who are left? The young people. The young people. And in being left, you just don't know how many of them tied up behind them now. Married to men, it's married to women, and guess what? It's not men's. It's not theirs. coming up with with them all of them. And you find a lot. And guess what? In the back of it. Share something with you. Y'all don't know what's being said. The word is out. Look. Don't be preaching on that. They'll get you. Don't be talking. They get you. I've been aware of the word out of that. How does a man feel that he done been married twice and this woman never been married? Who Ryan and Matthew? Won't she find out? That's not a husband. How you think that man gonna feel? That's why I'ma read this here to you. And get you to understand. This is no more than Noah doing. When making it bad today, women on the rise that won't preach and love. It's a dollar. When it comes to loving God, why he put these issues up for his last days. It's telling you the facts. So you see what I got to deal with? Men and that's the same thing. And I say, look, that's your first time. Yes. So you stop. And it's more I can tell you on that. Oh, I can share with you all. Right now, there's a lot of enemies. And I shouldn't be telling you all that, but there's, you don't want to hear that. I want you to talk about that. And they'll do you here. I've been wanting to talk about that. There's a lot of them men. She's leaving me. 
for the Lord. Who told you that? <laughs> Where you got that from? So, I don't have time for all kind of things going on in your, you know that. Look what I got for you. Now, Ben told me that. Ben told me that. He got done told me that. He got done warned me. So, I get it. The Lord is with me. That's why I tell y'all, don't run your mouth out there. Don't run your mouth. Y'all shouldn't run in among y'all sound. Listen. The devil don't hate y'all. What y'all got? What y'all got? He don't hate y'all. You know what? He love. So you should. Let me see who I can use. That's what he do. Let me see I, uh, who I can use to get it. And when I try all what I can, I gotta find some other one. Listen, when people come in together, and they come in together fellowship, who is that they're trying to meet? distraction and stuff in the church. Oh, doing this to get to the, to the minister. That's all it is. 